So each of the posts, there's this Velcro stuff. Take that out. In the two opposite corners, there's going to be this bar. It's just a safety support. Just take that out. And then we go around as we're going. Undo the Velcro under here. And then lift this up. Up. safety support. We're going to reach here and this is set up in my driveway so it's a little tight. So we're going to come around the other side again, Lynn. The bed are on the floor here. They won't go anywhere. And then, let's do this too. So at this point, uh, the next thing is to slide the beds in. And so, you come under here, look under there one, yeah. so you can see the, the two posts that hold the bed up. If you lift the bed, it will just free out. That wasn't really good on the car. Well, whatever. And then you want to make sure that this is kind of tucked up here and out of the way. And we'll come around and do that on the front bed as we're walking around. Same thing will happen. And sort of making sure this gets pushed in and out of the way. This as well. Now it's a little easier to do when you can get right in front of the bed. I can't quite do that with this setup right now, but it should push in. It should just slide right in. Just make sure this doesn't get caught or it'll get ripped. I slide it in slightly too far like that, and then you can take these bars and throw them in there. And then you want this to sit on that little wheel there, because that gives it the support. And then just tuck that in. That's the back bed. And then the front bed, same deal. It's going to slide in and it's gonna stop, it's gonna hit something. And then you gotta come over here. You'll see that this track that spans the door, you just gotta kinda lift it up, put it back on the track on the other side. Again, pushing it a little bit too far. And then these guys just, <clears throat> they look straight up, out like that. Tuck those in there along with these bars. Straight up. And then again, we're just going to bring this back. Just so that it's on that wheel, so it's well supported and then tuck these guys back in. Um, at this point, I usually come over to the door, and you can kind of reach in and pull these beds in as far as they will go, whatever you can reach, just makes it a little easier. Um, the other thing to mention too, I didn't mention, is that you, should, you need to make sure all the windows are zipped up, all the curtains are put away, otherwise it will interfere uh, with it coming down. And we got everything there. Okay, now we come over to the front and we start cranking it down. So counterclockwise. So now halfway down, you can see like the tents kind of bowing out a little bit. So you want to just sort of go around the whole trailer, just give it a little tuck in. And if you can get right in there, push it right back. Best as you can. All the way around here as well. Just make sure that's in 
just going to interfere with it coming down. Okay, and we're going to crank it some more. This little green guy, I just sort of try and tuck up here out of the way so that it doesn't get caught up in anything. And then crank. And almost to the bottom, you want to leave it so that you can tuck this stuff up. You don't want any of this sticking out. There's a seal along here, so if you get a little piece of tent sticking out, there's a chance of water squeaking in there when you're driving and then... And a rippage. Yeah, that too. So just come around the whole thing. Tuck, tuck, tuck. On the back too. This bed didn't quite go in enough. It's forgiving, so you can adjust it if you're going to. And last side. What I usually do, once I've done this tuck, just kind of look down the length of the trailer, and then you'll see little bits like this. You can see there's a little bit hanging down there, so you can see where that is and go tuck it in. Some of it is pretty hard to get completely tucked in. So it's pretty much bottomed out there now. so it just takes a bit to suck it down and then get these clamps don't you worry about filming <laughs> and around the front so you can see it's not quite cramped down I think that's because of that little extra cover we have on the bed that sort of makes it puff up that should pull it in. And then what you'll want is to, you can kind of leave this one undone because that allows you to still open and close this door. So when you're packing up or whatever, uh, it makes it easy to get in and out. And then when you're totally done, clamp that down and this lip will come down and cover the door so it can't open anymore. Um, so for now I'm just gonna do that. I don't think we need to put much else in there. And, Oh, hmm. look at that. We forgot a pole, so. Got to undo all of it. I've got to undo all of that. Actually, I'm not undoing it all. This pole is going to be in the trailer. <laughs> that goes on the on well, the front bed. It actually goes on the bed, so I can just slip it up there onto the bed. There's no need to redo it. Um, electrical cord, not much to that either. I think it's pretty straightforward stuff, but um, it basically just just feed it into the hole. It bundles up in there. There's an adapter that's included with the trailer, and then just boom. and that's basically it, I think. So that's it.